Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today, well, before we get started, you saw my pictures at the very first. I had some requests for uh, what the outcome was of those stencils that I made, and those were some of the shirts my wife made. I actually ended up making one that was a ghost also. Later on, she requested it, so they all came out pretty cool. I was like you. I really couldn't foresee how that was going to happen, but they came out really neat. So... Today, unfortunately, I had something I was almost done with. I'm going to finish it up and show you. Come to find out that wasn't going to happen anyway because it was one of the gifts. I thought it was supposed to be ready by tomorrow. And no, it's ready by next weekend. So I wouldn't have been able to show it to you today anyway. I don't know what I was thinking. But what really happened now is I screwed it up. I did the cut came out beautiful messed up the staining process soaked way down too far in the grain I'll show it to you I still got it I'll hang on to it and when I do the cut of that particular piece I'll let you see it so the other thing you may notice is I'm wearing a hoodie today it was 85 here yesterday it was 55 this morning when I woke up <laughs> just a small difference in temp which isn't real cold and as good old Oklahoma weather does, it's going to be in the mid to high 70s here in just a little bit. In fact, it's warming up now. I'm probably going to lose this before this video is over. I'm starting to get hot. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and do some question and answers. I've got, I should have done this here a while back. I've got a lot of questions in about just an array of things that I need to answer. So we'll do that today. So let's go. Okay, so first off, uh, the first thing I'm going to answer is people have noticed in some of my videos they can see me in headphones, and they are these. These are 3M Bluetooth headphones. They're called Work Tunes. I'll have to look. I think I left a link down below in the description box, and it should still be there. If it's not, I'll add it to it. Uh, these things cost about 50 bucks, and awesome. I, while I'm doing all my work out here, I'm tied into Pandora on my cell phone, and I'm just listening to music. So after I've answered that a few times, the next question is, well, what am I listening to? Well, I'm in southern Oklahoma. What you, I'm going to give you a guess. <laughs> I listen to a lot of country, and another one I like to listen to a lot is Lifehouse Radio, which is, you know, some alternative rock. Well, as you can see, I finally got too hot. Even like I said, it was 55 this morning. It's now almost 70 degrees, <laughs> so a little too hot for the hoodie. But uh, the next one I'm going to go over is depths, cutting depths. I get asked about it a bunch. Uh, my general answer is I cut it 0.13 of an inch. And for a lot of things I do, I, I've really kind of moved on to a little deeper, a 0.15. It really makes a nice, consistent depth. I'm going to show you some differences. So right down here, this is actually at a half inch depth, both of these. You can see they're really deep, and they make the, the uh, logo stand out real well. This one up here is actually three-eighths of an inch. It's not quite as deep. still stands out great. This is still at three-eighths of an inch. My Smokies up top, that is a .13. I mean, it makes a real nice cut. The reason I do it a little more shallow is it still shows the definition and does it in about half the time as when you're down here doing half an inch. This other here, I've got another little YouTube deal. This here is a .13. That right there is about a .15. You can see it still leaves good definition. It's a little bit deeper. And when you do something like this, it makes it just a little wider and it makes them a little deeper for good definition too. So as a general rule, I mean, like I said, I usually do everything about 0.13 to 0.15. That's generally where I operate in. Uh, on occasion, I'll do stuff a little bit deeper if, it need, if I think it calls for it. I generally just don't because of the time. That's the, the big answer is the time of it. If you go deeper, you're going to make a lot more passes over the same thing over and over and over. And a lot of times, there's no real benefit. Uh, you can do like you saw up here at top on this one. The .13 to me stands out as good as something that's three-eighths of an inch. And 
it's just my personal preference on that. So anyway, that that's something you just kind of got to play with. It's trial and error on that. I'm not going to tell you what depths you should be cutting at because I've seen stuff cut really deep and still look really cool. And I just hadn't got there yet, just not playing with it that, to that depth. Okay, so next I'm just going to answer a real simple question. <laughs> I get asked uh, every now and then, it's not often, but once in a blue moon somebody will ask me, why do I have other pieces of wood sitting down here below what I'm cutting? Simple answer is, is I'm cutting all the way through whatever I'm doing. Ugh, well that's dusty. I'm cutting all the way through I'm doing it. I'm, you really can't see it on the camera, but there's a big arc, and there's all sorts of squiggly lines where I've cut all the way through the top board, and it's cut into my scrap piece here. And the reason being is I don't really want to cut into my main deck and have to replace all this. That's why I've got wood underneath it. So <laughs> the next one is... Uh, <laughs> it's an easy answer. I've been asked several times why every time we get to cutting is there sawdust all over my table and I don't have it cleaned up. Well that's an easy answer. I don't like to clean. So they wonder why I won't vacuum in between each one. It's just laziness. I mean come on. But to appease the people that are worried about how dirty I'm keeping the table, here we go. It's clean. So, what I really plan on doing in the future, I mean, I'm just kind of making a lot of all that. It, what I really plan on doing in the future, you can make a boot that fits around the uh, spindle right down here, and your bit still comes out, but out beside it is a fitting for a uh, vacuum hose. So, that I'm really looking at that kind of setup. So, as it's cutting, it keeps all the stuff clean it keeps it all vacuumed out that way it makes for a much cleaner cut I don't have to worry about any sawdust or any little bits getting up in there and messing up the cut as I'm going and hitting the bit and I laugh because I've got that several times and I've actually answered a couple of questions and said oh, I probably should just send you over to my wife and ask about how well I clean she she finally has just come to the point that she doesn't even ask me because then she has to come right behind me and do it again because it's not to her standards. What can I tell you? I, I don't like clean. <laughs> to qualify that last statement. I like things clean. I just don't want to be the one to do it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just never have liked to clean too much. So the next thing that I'm going to go over is the ball screws. Not the ball screws, the linear rails, I'm sorry. We're going to go over the linear, linear rails. I do like those clean because those can really screw up the way the machine travels down the rails. And I've had several questions about how do you keep it clean because there is so much sawdust and stuff flying around the air. How do you keep it off there? So I've got a simple answer. So right here on my rail, as you can see, there is... Some sawdust on it right there. So you saw some sawdust on it right there. So what I'll try to do here is zoom in because my battery is going dead on my camera. What I'm talking about is this rail right here. This is your linear rail. This over here is your ball screw. And I actually put this on both of them. But what I'm going to show you first is I just simply take a rag and I make sure it's wiped down. I'm going to go ahead and do both ends of that one. And about once a week. Sometimes once every two weeks, depending on how much I'm out here. I hit it with what lithium grease and this is aerosol I'm gonna leave a link to some on uh, Amazon it's not gonna be this particular brand this brand came from my local O'Reilly's my automotive store and what I'm gonna link you to is some DuPont stuff that I really like and there's another one on there that's WD-40 so I just hit that with that you see it's pretty thick. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and hit it good. And in normal fashion, I just sprayed myself.
But you can see that foamed up pretty good. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll just sit here and wait for it to kind of settle down, for the foam to go down a little bit, and then I'll wipe them down. So you saw me just spray the uh, linear rails on the sides. Now, up top on the gantry, I don't do it that way because that stuff does spray and just kind of splatter everywhere. And so in order to kind of keep my table in order, I on the gantry, I just spray some on my towel, and I'll just run up and wipe down the each of the rails and my ball screw with the rag which honestly honestly that's probably the technique ought to be using on the side rails but I've always just kind of quickly shot it that way it's good and coated and it works and the one on the linear of the gantry works too that I probably just need to do it all one way but you know sometimes I'm hard-headed so once your lithium grease dries, uh, it feels like it's just real slick, but I mean it's not oily or anything like that. But once it dries, you'll notice that sawdust won't stick to it. And when it does start sticking to it, that means it's finally wearing off. And it's probably getting about time to put another little coat on there. It doesn't take long. I mean, five, ten minutes, I've got it done. And it's just a, one of those general maintenance things that you really kind of got to keep on top of. Or else your little pillow blocks that are on your gantry or on your rails will get clogged up with sawdust up in your ball bearings always bad news all right just a couple more little things here uh so something I constantly ask it's an iwata revolution airbrush i constantly get asked what airbrush i'm using and i know i've made a complete video over this before but i just to uh, Put a newer video out there and let people know it's Iwata. Uh, I've got a link to it down below in the description. It'll take you right to them. You can order them off Amazon quick and easy. And they're great. I mean, I, I love them. I've actually got two of them. And on bigger stuff, I do two colors. The next thing is what kind of paint am I using? I honestly don't know much about the paints for airbrushes. I've been told what I'm using is a cheap stuff and there's better stuff out there. I'm not going to disagree with you. I don't have any idea. Uh, I'll just kick the camera. But it, this stuff has worked well for me. It's called Createx. If you can see it there. I'll, I'll put a link. If I haven't put a link, I will. I'll put one down below so you can go to it and look at it. This stuff works well and the reason I use it is it's readily accessible to me. I bought most of this from Hobby Lobby, which is a little craft store here in Oklahoma, and I, it works good. If I run out, I'm 25 miles away. I can go get one, get some more. And I've actually looked at it on Amazon, and they order. You can order it. It's actually cheaper. I mean, I, for this bottle here, I paid $14, and you can get it quite a bit cheaper. This stuff, the smaller bottles that are all my colors, I've uh, I bought them in a pack. I really don't remember what I paid for the pack, but I was looking at it in on Amazon, and you can buy it for about fifteen to eighteen dollars, maybe nineteen dollars, and uh, I know that's cheaper than what I paid for them. So next time I'm probably ordering off Amazon, getting that stuff. But that's what kind of paint I use. Also, I get the stuff that says opaque. I don't want it to be transparent. I want it to cover in whatever I'm painting, and uh, that's just what kind I've used. If you've got any suggestions for better paints, give me some brands. I mean, I've been told that there's better stuff out there, but I don't I haven't been told what. I mean, so I'm willing to try something different just to see if I like it better. And if so, I'm not afraid to change. And I'm dang sure not afraid to tell you that, hey, you were right, I was wrong, because that is often the case. So that's about it. I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, that's about all the questions I can think of just off the top of my head. I'm sure I've got tons of others that I'm missing. I mean, I know I get talked about speeds and feeds a lot, and I've done stuff here just not too far long ago that talked about it. Uh, there's some other things I want to hit you up about. I told you in the past that I was going to do some live videos. I still plan to do that. Uh, somebody asked me the other day about it, and I still plan to do it. I still just have not upgraded cameras. And there's one big reason I'm a top one. I, the camera I'm looking at, you know, six, seven hundred dollars. A lot of people, that's a drop in the bucket. I wish it were for me, but it is not. 
especially since I'm retired now. So uh, I'm, I'll save up the money and get the camera. And the reason I want that particular camera is it does have Wi-Fi capabilities. This little camera does not. And I really don't want to do it off my cell phone. I would rather be able to set something down, talk to it, and I want a little screen so whenever you ask the questions, I can sit there and look at your question, look at your camera, and answer it. Or not answer it, or if I'm incapable, which is possible too. So guys, that's going to be about it for this one. Like Again, I apologize for not being able to cut something. I Brain left me, and it was probably just God saying, hey, hello, you don't need to show this one because it's a present. And so he slowed me down a big, a great deal. He just messed up that one, so I couldn't do it. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. If y'all haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.